Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. World's largest flying boat for sale. Emirates makes headlines with Burj Khalifa stunt. Jetpack Aviation inks deal for flying motorcycle training. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited, I'm your host Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. The world's largest flying boat for sale. A rare vintage warbird is up for grabs, a 1945 Martin JRM-3 Mars flying boat. The last remaining airworthy example of a five-plane production run has been listed for sale at Warbird Broker Platinum Fighter Sales. Flying boats are a rare breed, with many manufactured through World War II only to see nearly immediate extinction at the hands of their quicker, more efficient jet replacements. In the early years of the war, the Martin Company obtained a contract with the U.S. Navy for the largest flying boat to ever enter production, building on their stalwart PBM Mariner patrol bomber to create a long-range, high-capacity transport. The JRM-3 Mars had barely begun production when the Navy scaled its order of 20 down to only the five then in production. The aircraft saw just over a decade of service with the Navy before being sold to a Canadian firefighting company. The remaining aircraft were converted into water bombers, leveraging their prodigious carrying capacity and water landing capability to drop 7,200 gallons of water over four acres with each pass. After a lifetime of service, only two JRM-3s remain. The sail aircraft, Hawaii Mars 2, is the only flying example left on Earth. The price for such a rarity? A cool $5 million. Coming up after the break, Mojave Spaceport completes name change. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Mojave Spaceport completes name change. The Mojave Air and Spaceport unanimously approved a resolution officially changing the name of the airport, honoring Bert and Dick Rutan for their lifelong work in building and promoting aviation at the field. The board has previously mentioned during deliberations that the name change would not put the Rutan name front and center as the primary brand for the airport, as it would remove focus from the space and flight development focus. Up Up and Away Balloon Festival begins May 6th. The Up Up and Away Florida Hot Air Balloon Festival has announced new additions to the musical lineup, bringing out the Rico Monaco Band, Epic Band, Audio Exchange, Franchise Players, Tracy Coriel, and Stacy Gable. The festival kicks off on the weekend of May 6th. The festival is run by a dedicated 501c3 nonprofit made to promote family-friendly aviation, as well as provide a fun springtime day out to bring the community together and enjoy the special, laid-back experience inherent to ballooning. Qatar vs. Airbus dispute escalates with $6 billion cancellation. The long-running dispute and court battle between Qatar Airways and Airbus has escalated, with both sides taking moves against one another that has seen billions of dollars pulled off the table. The origin of the argument began with the CEO of Qatar Airways, Akbar Al-Baker, demanding restitution for paint flaws on the company's relatively new A350s. The aircraft were grounded in Qatar due to paint flaking, chipping, and peeling around the aircraft's anti-lighting mesh material. European authorities found the issue relatively benign, saying it has little bearing on safety of flight as a predominantly cosmetic issue. EAA Hops and Props Cancelled The annual event, originally to be held on March 12th at the EAA Aviation Museum in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, has been cancelled. Attendees were notified that all tickets will be refunded. 
The event is normally a chance to enjoy beverages and food, specifically the work of local master brewers, microbrews, and more with live music. The proceeds from the event help underwrite the cost of museum activities throughout the year, including free aviation educational programs for young people. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Emirates makes headlines with Burj Khalifa stunt. The Dubai Expo, a convention running from October 2021 to March 2022, has seen a boost in its notoriety following an Emirates stunt aimed at publicizing the show as the Expo enters its final half. Emirates recreated their previous announcement by once again placing a flight attendant atop the world's tallest 2,722-foot skyscraper while one of their Airbus A380s flies past for the perfect photo opportunity. The Airbus was decorated in colorful livery, celebrating the expo, giving a backdrop to skydiving influencer Nicole Smith Ludwig as she rotated through cards with messages inviting passengers to fly Emirates to the exhibition. Wow, I can see Dubai Expo and finally, here come my friends, appeared on cue as the A380 roared past at 145 knots. In an era of cheap green screens and powerful home computing special effects, Emirates laid to rest any charges of faking the stunt. The Airbus flew past at the same height as the top of the tower at 2,700 feet, half a mile away from the tower. The end result makes the immense aircraft appear far closer than it was in reality, perfect for making headlines. After these messages, Jetpack Aviation Inc.'s deal for flying motorcycle training. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Welcome back. Jetpack Aviation Inc.'s deal for flying motorcycle training. Jetpack Aviation, the manufacturer of the small VTOL speeder aircraft, has signed a landmark deal with an unnamed military customer in Southeast Asia for pilot and maintenance training. The speeder is a small, turbine-powered, fully stabilized VTOL flying motorcycle. The end result is hoped to be a variable manned and unmanned combat scout and courier, similar in function to terrestrial motorcycles in military trim. The company notes that the deal legitimizes the hoverbike industry, one still plagued by vaporware and promises. The training agreement came alongside an $800,000 order for two JB-12 jetpacks, as well as initial training services for two pilots and two maintenance technicians at its California factory, with options for more. Once selected for training, the student pilots will receive on-tether instruction before working their way up to free flight for advanced instruction as outlined in their FAA-approved syllabus. Training will be done on customer aircraft over summer 2022 for a two-week period, making at least six tethered flights before moving onward. Jetpack sees their aircraft as a good fit for combat operations, whether using a manned single pilot version or an automated cargo pod variant. The company is hard at work on virtual simulation equipment to boost student uptake and ensure pilot currency. Well, that's our program for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.